first we're going to go to 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuda, who is in Westerly, where Henri made landfall officially just after 12 o'clock. And uh, I understand the governor has now made mm -hmm. his way down to Westerly. Right, and it's almost hard to believe that it made landfall because the sun is out now, but I am joined live by the governor. Since you've been here in Westerly, have you been noticing anything or what's the plan from here? Well, we know that we notice a lot of people are out of power. And uh, and now we're sitting, I guess, what they call right in the eye of the storm, which I, uh, which uh, this was uh, according to the center, this was what Black Island looked like just 20 about ago. 20 minutes ago. So we know that we're being hit. Uh, we are well, again with people. Uh, better safe than sorry. Stay at home, uh, and then we'll get through this part, and then we'll start getting the recovery. That's why I'm down here with my feet on the ground with the town manager, along with Rep. Azanaro, uh, Town Councilman uh, Caswell Cook here, as well as uh, Senator Algiers. We're, we got our feet on the ground so we know what's going on so that we can actually get to work and create the recovery. But right now, safety. Safety is the main issue, that main uh, message that we're delivering. And this area is no stranger to Mother Nature's force. Everyone's boarded up because even without heavy weather like this, they've been damaged before. They have, and I, I mentioned that to the president yesterday uh, when I had a personal phone call with him about how uh, our, our coastline, is, in particular, Wesley, right here in Mesquamacut Beach, and, and Sandy uh, was really uh, decimated. And it took uh, too long, quite frankly, for them to get back into action. I was a mayor at the time supporting the town manager at the time. And so we've experienced this before. That's a good thing because our um, safety teams, our emergency management, our National Guard, all our local responders, they've gone through this before. So safety is a, a priority, but we also need to get better at the recovery. And that's why I'm down here in Westley today. Any last words that anything else Rhode Islanders need to know right now? I don't know. I, I don't know if the senator has any, any we words. We appreciate the right. governor coming down with his team. Uh, he does recognize the importance of safety, but also important of restoring everything back power. So we really appreciate the governor's and his staff and his team being down here and supporting us uh, during the storm, prior to the storm, and certainly after the storm to get us back to where we, we need to be. Thank you, governor. And thank you guys so much for letting us share your message with Rhode Islanders tonight. We'll send it back to you guys and check in in just a bit.